This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News. The Associated Press reports once considered one of the wealthiest people in the United States, former Texas tycoon R. Allen Stanford, whose financial empire once spanned the Americas and made him fabulously wealthy, was convicted Tuesday in a federal courtroom in Houston of bilking his investors out of more than seven billion dollars through a Ponzi scheme he operated for 20 years. Three other indicted former executives of Stanford's company are to be tried in September. A former Antiguan financial regulator, accused of accepting bribes, was also indicted, and he awaits extradition to the United States. Prosecutors and Stanford's family members declined to comment, but one of his investors, Cassie Wilkinson, welcomed the verdict. Stanford and the former executives are also fighting a U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission lawsuit filed in Dallas that makes similar allegations. KHOU.com reports a manager shot and killed an unarmed man who was vandalizing property at a Northeast Houston motel early Tuesday. It happened at the Legacy Inn in the 9500 block of Dodson at Tidwell around 1 a.m. Police said a man started freaking out in a motel parking lot. According to Houston police, the man went inside the front office and began turning over furniture and knocking things around. The man did not have a weapon, but witnesses said the motel manager was in fear of his safety. The man died at the scene. No charges have been filed against the manager. The case will be referred to a grand jury. KVUE.com reports the Texas Department of Public Safety has issued a warning to those traveling for spring break not to go to Mexico due to the violence through the country. DPS Director Stephen McCraw said drug cartel violence and other criminal activity represents a significant safety threat, even in some resort areas. Many crimes against Americans in Mexico go unpunished, and we have a responsibility to inform the public about safety and travel risks and threats. DPS encourages U.S. citizens living or traveling in Mexico to register with the nearest U.S. embassy or consulate. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News.